Hello and welcome back to Tech It. What have I been doing? I've been. Oh yeah, I moved my uh, condenser into um, next to the relay, so it picks up all the energy from these uh, collectors. So now these two collectors send their energy into this relay, and then that gets sent into the uh, condenser, which has now built me a bunch more collectors because I left it on for a, a long, long time. So we'll take them out. Let's um, let's get a much more efficient system worked out. I've also got a few more relays over here. Um, so we're going to use these with the collectors to uh, build a bigger system. Now, uh, if we completely surround this condenser. I could have one more underneath, but I need to have like one space where I can actually access it. So um, I'm going to leave the bottom. So now that's as, pretty much as many relays as I can get around the condenser without obviously not leaving a gap. Now if I surround those with these collectors, as many as I can get around them. I guess I could have some more underneath, but uh, for now this will be fine. Should be enough. Yeah. So now, I don't have enough pumpkins, but it's daytime, so I don't think it matters. Might do. Uh, I'll get some more glowstone at some point and just like cover the whole lot in glowstone, and that'll like fix any problem I might, I might have. Now I've built this little tunnel so I can access the condenser from underneath. There we go. So now if I put something in there, he'll, uh, he'll start work on it. Um... I don't know. It's, um, a little more Mobius fuel for one thing. Uh, and for that, I think I need glowstone, is that right? There's actually another way to make Mobius fuel that's not just dumping it in the collector, and that's to um, craft with coal. I'm sure I had more coal than that. Uh, also, I need the Philosopher's Stone. Just like, oh, it's... Let's hope I've got enough. Um, if I don't have enough, I can always stick it in a condenser. So what you do is, I think you put um, four... four coal in the... crafting bench with the stone. Yeah, there we go. So you put the stone in the crafting bench with the four coal to make the alchemical coal. Uh, and I need four of them, I think. So I'll make three more. Oops. So now I have... Oh, yeah, that always leaves. Now, I put four of them in with the stone. And it makes me a Mobius. And I think you can probably do the same with that to make a eight analysis. But for now I just need a Mobius, so I'm gonna stick that in a condenser to make a bunch of that. Cool. As you can see it's going up quite quickly from my um from my relays and condensers and stuff. So that's good. So now I'll take my Mobius fuel. Um, what else do I need? I think that's plenty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build um, what's called a destruction catalyst, which is the kind of the way that you mine um, in equipment exchange. The kind of their version of the quarries, I guess. Uh, and for that, I need TNT. I've only got four gunpowder, so I'll have to uh, transmute some more gunpowder. And I need a fresh flint and steel, I think. Let's hope that one will work. So, I've got my gunpowder. I need uh, some sand as well to make TNT, of course. So we'll go digging. Where did I see some sand? Is there some under here? And oh, that's stone. Ah, there's some. Wee. Just need one. 
So I can, I'm going to need four TNT, I think, or two. Might be two. Let's have a look. Uh, take that Mobius. Put the sand in. Christ! <laughs> See how quickly it makes it from those collectors. Let's put the uh, Mobius back. It could take a while. God, okay. Gunpowder. Cool. Uh, should be plenty. I think. Let's get a couple more just in case. There we go. And then we'll put the Mobius back in. And we're gonna craft us some TNT first. Um, sand, 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 sand. Gunpowder. Ah, perfect. Now, um, let's make another one. Doopy doo. Okay, now if we combine these with Mobius, we get a Nova Catalyst. Uh, it's like a big bomb, but it doesn't work um, in TechIt, at least on this server, I don't know why. But we won't need it anyway. Uh, we're going to turn it into a Destruction Catalyst, which, um, which requires this in the corners, uh, flint and steel in the middle, and Mobius and the rest. There we go. Mmm, very nice. Now what it does is, um, I think it uses Kleinstar's EMC and it just like digs big holes, basically. Boom, like that. It's pretty much, uh, it's four. Now, I'm not sure how much this has in it. Uh, 16,391. So let's see how this affects it by using this. So it's lost a bit of EMC by doing that, but not a lot. These black blobs come out, which is basically all the stuff we get, so you see the stone and dirt going up. So it's like kind of one ball with all the loot, essentially. Uh, not finding anything of use really down here. Making a lot of mess. Oh, there we go. So we've got... Yeah, there's an the appetite, so it turns up in our inventory. What we need to do is get that black blob. So it's an extremely quick way of mining, and I'd say it's incredibly overpowered compared to uh, the quarries. What you can do is you can combine the using this destruction catalyst with um, something called a divining rod. Now, if you remember, when I first made that condenser and stuff, I made this, these powders, covalence dusts. There's three different types. Uh, go back to the original episode if you want to work out how to make them. But what you do to turn them into a divining rod is you need a stick, uh, just a normal stick, which I, I don't think I can, oh my god, I don't have any wood. <laughs> Let's just uh, nuke this tree. Bonk. Yeah, lots of wood. Lots of sticks. Uh, I've got the Philosopher's Stone, so I don't have to uh, worry about crafting bench. So what I do is you stick the stick in the middle. Uh, I think the green is the basic one, so you surround that in the green. Yep, there we go. The Vining Rod. For this, what you do is you right-click, and it will tell you the value of the area that you've clicked. If you press the G key, it will change the range. So this only works in a short range because it's the basic one. So this is a three by oh, I just changed it into sand. Oh, how did I do that? Why sand? I did not know this did it. Um, if I if I use it on the sand, it turns into grass. And if I use it on the grass, it turns into sand. Okay, well that's neat. Uh, a little. Uh, Easter egg there. 
<laughs> okay, so what I do now is I surround the divining rod again with the the second one, which is I think is the light blue, and we have uh, a new divining rod. Now if I press G on this, I can change its range to 16 by 3 by 3, or back to 3 by 3 by 3. So now if I use it, it still says 1 is our best bet. Oh, 128. So that means in the area that I've clicked, there is something worth 128 EMC. Now, what you really want to look for is 8,000 or 16,000, because that means you found tungsten or diamond. So I'm going to upgrade it again with the dark blue. Giving us the final divining rod, which will go very long range. Oops. Mid, long. So this is 64 by 3 by 3. So it goes 64 down, 3 by 3 around. So that's 256, 512, 2000. So that's a couple of. What's that? A gem? So you basically just walk around looking for an 8000 or similar and when you find it you just dig down using the destruction catalyst and you'll find a diamond at least one God, they're rare though aren't they? <laughs> where am I? Let's go flying. Let's fly into the desert and have a look there. I expect these areas have all been mined out. Worthless, worthless, worthless sand. Ah, here we go. 8192 in this area here. So now if I use the destruction catalyst, go down pretty much to bedrock, I will find a diamond. My inventory is completely full. Uh, so, um, let's delete something. Delete some stones. The gravel, cobble, the stone, stone, sand, sand, wood, mushroom, torches, appetite. Get lots of room. And keep going. Now, once we've hit bedrock, we should have a diamond in our inventory. That's the plan. Bum, bum, bum. Nice and light, isn't it? Ah, there we go. Diamonds. Lots of them. See, that's just six diamonds, just from doing that. Mad, isn't it? Get all this copper. You can just, oh, look at this, you just smash these whole areas. Very cool. So, how much EMC have we used from our client star? Let's go and check it out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is that lapis? I'll take that. Bit of silver. Addictive, isn't it? Whenever you see these minerals, you just have to get them. Right, so we'll head back to base and we'll check out our Kleinstar and see how much that cost us. Kleinstar. Yikes. So that cost us, well, you know, almost just over a diamond's worth, actually. But I did get eight diamonds out of it. So, you know, it was worth it. It cost us one diamond to uh, to do those dividings and the catalyst, but as a reward we got, you know, seven more. Which is good. Plus all this crap, which we can uh, stick in the condenser. There's a few hundred more.
some sapphires as well. There we go. That's worth a few. A few bob. Cool. So yeah, that's the destruction catalyst. Um So that once once you've got that, it's uh, it's very easy just to start massing up tons and tons of EMC and start building like all your dark matter, which is used for a lot of the recipes. What am I doing? Oh yeah, sticking this in the uh, the mining chest. Cool. So that's um that's a bit more uh, equipment exchange for you guys, and I uh, yeah, hope that. Be useful for you. Next time, I think I'll um, upgrade these to the Collector Mark II, which will be a lot faster, and I'll get a lot more EMC from them. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay.